And welcome back guys, GVids here. If you guys are new here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And that way you never miss out on any future video streams, updates, or anything fun like that. And we do have an update for Overwatch 2. This is update 3.38 and let's just get right on into it. First thing is, this is just general bug fixes. They fixed an issue with the report interface on console. They fixed a bug on PlayStation involving the inability to purchase other items in the store after a refund of another item. They fixed an issue where legacy credits were not at default currency selected for purchases in the hero gallery. They fixed a bug where some heroic emotes and poses were incorrectly locked and priced. They fixed an item in the hero gallery that were not able to be purchased. They also fixed an issue with the spectator options and made clicking in that menu more responsive. They also resolved a bug where low resolution shop images displaying small on some platforms. They fixed an issue that caused the entire client to appear out of focus. They also fixed a bug where hero unlock challenges were not incrementing properly in the total mayhem. They fixed a challenge system wide malfunction not correctly incrementing. They fixed challenges Classy Flex and Flex Your Power not progressing while in a group. They also fixed a bug where some challenges not correctly showing up during the end of the game flow. They resolved a bug where leaving scrimmage could cause challenge progress to be lost. They fixed an issue where adjusting render scale to any value would cause graphical corruption. They also fixed a bug where depth in field would remain active in gameplay and leave your screen blurry. Fixed a bug where the camera placement in capture highlights and some general stability updates. They also did some competitive. They, many players were ranked too low during the first week of Overwatch 2. We are implementing a boost as players continue to play the games for those affected by the issue. Players who were ranked too low could have the feeling of being stuck in the rank. Moving forward, players should be able to climb the ranks in their first rank update, assuming they're supposed to be higher based on their performance. And players who haven't ranked will not experience this issue after this patch. And for maps, a Mumbai and Necropolis have been added back to their map pools. And moving along into the heroes, Zenyatta no longer receives extra attack speed from Kiriko Ultimate. In Kiriko, they resolved an issue where Yokai achievement was unattainable. They did fix a bug where Swift Step could result in the player being placed under the train in some cases. And for the workshop, they fixed an issue where the workshop green screen would load a workshop island instead. And for the last one, they did fix a bug where night workshop maps were loading daytime variants. And in other Overwatch 2 news, they have promised some double XP weekends in the near future, as well as some free legendary skins and weapon charms. So do keep that in mind, guys. Keep your eyes open for that free stuff coming out in the near future. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you do share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. This video has been brought to us by Smoker's Choice Reusable Glass Cleaner. Clean your glass accessories with ease using Smoker's Choice Reusable Glass Cleaner. Now found on Amazon, eBay, and Etsy.